What's up guys, it's Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Play Edition ROM for your guys' HTC One M8. Let's get started. <laughs> HTC and Samsung paired up with Google and started a trend where they released a Google edition of their flagship phone. And of course, HTC did this with their latest One M8. But in the past, a lot of the main features that we got on these flagship phones only worked with the software that they were made to run. HTC stepped up their game with the M8 Google edition, and they were able to include some features into the Google stock ROM that were really important when they first released the phone. The first one, as you can see, is the motion gestures. Otherwise, if you look through the settings, you're not going to find any other crazy things that you might get from CyanogenMod or AOKP. If we pop up into the motion launch gestures settings, we're not going to get that many options. We could either enable it or disable it. And basically, if you read through the help section, it's going to tell you what this does. Now, if you click on anything, it's not going to change anything. And basically, every single way you could tap to unlock the screen before still works here. One downside is you can't swipe down to activate a voice command. We lost that feature. But it's good to see that HTC still implemented the option to be able to quickly unlock our smartphone. HTC did a good job at making sure the second camera on the back didn't go to waste. They added a feature to the Google software, so whenever you go, and for example, we take a picture, just focus, take the picture, we now have the ability to choose a different edit mode. When you first open up and click the little edit button, it'll ask you which one you want to use. I already selected the HTC editor, and after that, you basically get the same menu that you would get on the HTC camera software. So every feature is here, like the unfocus feature, the 3D feature, you get all of these different effects and grid views. And basically every feature you would want from the camera is still here. And to quickly go back into the edit option and go into the unfocus section, I could definitely show you right now quickly how it still works perfectly fine. One more feature that HTC made sure that you wouldn't lose was the IR Blaster at the top. You can now search up in the Play Store, HTC TV, and you will get an option that pops up that says HTC Sense TV. Now you just download this like any other app, and let's give it a little second to download. Once it's downloaded, it's basically going to work exactly how it worked on HTC Sense. It's just going to recognize that you have the M8 and that you have the IR Blaster at the top, and basically once you open it up, you just set it up like you would on normal sense. As you can tell, we don't lose any major features with this ROM. And since they do release Google Play editions of these phones, it makes it a lot easier for developers to release a ROM like this, which gives a stock Android that quickly. Guys, I'll have the link down below for you to flash this ROM. If you want to know how to root and install recovery on your M8, I did make a video recently and I'll also link that down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This ROM is very stable and I will definitely be using it for a long, long time. And I'll definitely keep you guys up to date with the latest ROMs and hacks on the HTC One M8. Thanks for watching.